This video in our Expert Guide to Journal Publishing looks at citation metrics and how they can be used when deciding to submit to journals. In simple terms, the key citation metrics are an average of citations received by a journal within a particular time frame. Around the world, academic assessments are based on publishing in journals in key indexes, such as Web of Science, Scopus databases, or in journals with impact factors above certain numbers. This situation is well established but highly criticised. The San Francisco Declaration of Research Assessment, referred to as DORA, is signed by over 1,800 organisations. It cautions against using journal-level citation metrics as a means of assessing individuals and research articles alone. However, we acknowledge that metrics play an important part in deciding where to publish and how researchers are assessed, so understanding how to use them may be valuable. So how can these metrics help? The journals in these strictly curated databases may be seen as having editorial processes of a high standard. A high citation metric does mean that a journal is receiving a lot of citations and may perhaps be worth investigating further if the other characteristics match your specific research topics and goals. Web of Science and Scopus hold a wealth of information that may be useful to you as a publishing author and in your career as a researcher. You can use the bibliographic databases to analyse the content of the journal, looking at topics being published and cited, the authors of those papers, their institutions and even funding agencies and more. If the journal covers a broad scope, although it may accept papers on your own topic, is it actually being referenced by other researchers in the field for this purpose? And of course you can use the database to search for your topics directly and identify journals this way, checking to see whether their citation metrics are suitable for your selection criteria as you go. The metrics themselves can be subject to a great degree of change, just one highly cited paper can make a significant difference to the metrics of a journal year on year, so looking at a single metric for one year is not enough to determine the overall stature of a journal. By looking into their citation profile and metrics over the previous years, you will get a better idea of the consistency of how a journal is used by the field. Now we'll look at two key metrics, Clarivate's Journal Citation Report Impact Factor and Scopus's Cite Score. The impact factor is calculated as follows. The number of citations in the year of interest, two articles published in the two previous years, divided by the number of articles published in those two previous years. For example, this 2019 impact factor of 2.974 is an average of the 3,795 citations received in 2019 to the 1,276 papers published in 2017 and 2018. The data for impact factors is drawn from the Web of Science owned by Clarivate Analytics. Impact factors are released annually in the Journal Citation Reports platform, which can also be accessed through the Insights platform. As of 2019, Clarivate's Web of Science contains nearly 23,000 journals, but only 12,600 of these have impact factors. 9,200 in the Science Citation Index and 3,400 in the Social Sciences Index. Elsevier's Scopus platform holds the bibliometric data used to calculate the Scamago journal rank and site score. The Scopus site score is calculated in a similar way to the impact factor, but over the most recent three years rather than two. Unlike the subset of journals in the Web of Science that are granted impact factors, all journals within Scopus receive an SJR and site score. We have a separate video devoted to predatory publishing, but here we will note the possibility to use the Web of Science or Scopus to verify whether a journal that claims to have a certain metric really does have one. Even without subscriptions, you can check whether a journal is legitimately indexed by Clarivate using their master list and in Scopus's public site. In conclusion, citation metrics and their databases can give some valuable reassurance of the quality of a journal and provide some insights into the audience and potential impact your article may have. Read even more details on this topic in our journal publishing guide and watch the rest of the videos in this series for information on understanding why we publish in journals, aims and scopes, instructions for authors, 
peer review, ethical considerations, and more information on predatory journals. Thank you.